Hello everybody, it's Pavo, welcome back to Zoo Crafting. We're here in front of our Swan Lake Cafe that we have yet to finish. And behind me you can see the pig. Or a pig. That is... I think it's Devon. Or Hunter. It's one of the two. We have two security pigs that wander around our park. And yeah, they help to keep the place secure. And here's your code for today, everybody. It's Pelican43. So if you go into that on the website, you know what to do. And let's get rid of this. So as you can see, I've been doing quite a bit of work on the roof. These are all Carpenter's collapsible blocks. And when you place them down, you have to click click them with the hammer. And that changes the, the gradient of them. I also moved this wall back a bit. And we have a few things to cover up as well as the whole of the roof to fill in though I'm not sure what material we'd use hello <laughs> Devon's up on the tree oh my gosh what are you doing <laughs> but yeah so let's fill this in we have some wood here already so that's what we use and we'll just place that like this and this part here is the the boat rental shack and that needs to be dyed with green dye and I have a bit there I need a bit more uh, so I'm gonna have to propagate this fragrant fern again on this tree see if we can just get a few more plants so that we can make this cactus green dye we didn't get a lot but that that would be fine and all we need to do is hold down shift and right click and that fills that in and that's awesome and I really like that I really think that's cool okay so what to do now should we do the roof I think I think we'll do the roof though I'm not sure what blocks would cover it with I'm thinking maybe the jacaranda wood maybe that or maybe some sort of bricks though I don't think we have any bricks on us which is a bit annoying but I really like that jacaranda wood and I think that I think that fits it perfectly so we're gonna have to grow and bone meal a load more jacaranda trees so let's see if we have our we have eggshells and I know that we have bone meal in here and we have our jacaranda saplings so that's what we'll be using uh, let's just clear our inventory a bit so that we can plant oops so that we can plant our trees and I think what we're gonna do with the trees is actually I need to I need some food first is we'll plant them just up here where there's a bit more open space and we'll see if they grow and some of them we have to bone meal oh look there's hunter there's our other pig I added them both in quite a while ago. It's only recently that we started to see them. And yeah, that's. Oh, I didn't think that was going to work then. But that's good. We're going to need loads of this wood. Oh my goodness. We might be here for a while. Because I know that it used about. Oh gosh, 120 of those carpenter's blocks, like two stacks of the collapsible ones to make that roof. And it was so much clicking, my fingers hurt. <laughs> oh, that was good, that only used one bone meal. So we're going to need a fair few stacks of this jacaranda wood. But that's fine. We've got plenty of these saplings. Let's just bone meal them all. Or eggshell them all rather. And that's good. I like it when they're, they're big trees because you get more logs. Lovely, lovely. They're such a pretty colour. Was that tree there before? Did that tree just grow? Am I seeing things? I think I might be. 
and over here. Okay, we'll plant more of these again. And we will go put the few that we have in the roof and we'll see how many of these trees grow in the meantime. Okay. Uh, how do we get up? I'm going to pillar up with some of these carbonous blocks. And I'm just going to place them like this. And on this side as well. Oops. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. And hmm, I think actually I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna put the carbonous blocks here. And if I put this jack around the wood in it, then I can do this, yeah. Yeah. Aha, that looks so cool. Yeah, and the reason I'm not going to put the logs straight down is that I want to put this over here as well. And I won't be able to do it against... Oh, wait. Never mind, ignore what I'm saying. I was going to say that the colours wouldn't match up, but it doesn't matter. Uh, because you won't be able to see the inside. So maybe, yeah. I'm going to get rid of these. Because then we're not wasting more of these logs. And I will put this... Uh, I, I'm not sure... I think I'm going to put it here, yeah. Because then this side is the cafe, this side is the boat rental shop, which is good, yeah. And I think I'm going to put that, the logs here as well. And it might look a bit off. Unless I can, I'll, I'll try dyeing it, see what it looks like. It might look completely horrible, and if it does, I'm going to take that back up. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. So I think we'll, we're going to put those like that. Yeah, that, that's okay. And I actually think we'll make the garage door now, if I remember how to do it. Is it like this? Nope. Nope, not like that. Yeah, like this. And how wide is it? It's 2 by 3, which is fine. And oh, we only need 3, because it does this, which is awesome. And we will... Yeah, that's that's the one we need. And we're going to dye it green. We'll need more of this, of the green. Oh, what did I do with my birch tree? Oh, that's a shame. But I need more of this... Uh, cactus green dye. Oh gosh, what is happening? And... Oh... Uh, spam propagating. Imagine if this happened in real life. <laughs> okay. And we'll turn these into our cactus greens. And place them in there. That's cool, that's cool. Uh, I just want to see if there's any more patterns we can have. There's... no, there's not really. Well, there's this one. Hmm. Oops. I think we're going to stick with this one though. Because that looks more like a, a shutter effect. Oh, we could even put planks in it, but I'm not sure because I think that makes it a bit harder to see. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oops, wait, what's happening? Yeah, that's. Oh. 
Yeah, and then that will come up, and there'll be a, the guy sending the ped pedal boats. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, and now we need to chop down one of these trees to do the roof. And I sort of showed you that code too early on. I was going to show it later on in the video so that you don't just all rush and enter the code and then disappear. Not that you all would, because I know you wouldn't do that. But I've also hidden a few secret codes that only have a few uses rather than being able to, uh, for everybody to enter them. So they're quite limited and they're worth more points. So you with your observant eyes and your yeah your eagle eyes, you'll get more points. And they're, they're hidden around. There's one that I think has been on camera already. It's not the pelican one, but you can also enter that okay so we have more of more and more of these logs and i think what would also be cool is if i get like the other zoo crafters to like hide the codes in their videos and then you can find codes over there as well okay let's head around here i'm a bit stuck and put those there and the things that you can buy with the power points will be coming I have a list as I said on my phone that I just need to type up and put on the website now I want to get some pretty pictures and just make sure that the prices aren't too expensive like uh, I do have plans of, of like the lowest price thing would be 2000 power points and most of you have 600 at the moment probably 800 when you type in that code and people that find the the mystery the secret code maybe it might push you up to 1200 but yeah so those will be coming in the future and there are also some unique things that I know that you'll all be super excited about um, I do not want this one though no, why are you doing this to me? Why? No. Why, why, why? Can these only go a certain way or something? Let's see. So we'll try it like looking. Oops, not like that at all. So you can't do it like that, can't do it like that. I don't think we're going to be able to add this as a roof. That's going to be annoying. Uh, that would have worked so well as well. But I think I'm going to leave it as the trim. Because I really like that. Oh, come here block, come here. Oh, but that's, that's annoying. It doesn't work with the collapsible blocks. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep it as the trim. Let's just eat some of this other fish. And I'm going to have to find another block to use as the roof then. Uh, I might have to use some sort of cobblestone, like that fancy cobblestone that we used uh, on the owl observatory. But I'm not sure. Why can't we? Why can't we do it? It would. Yeah, it would have worked so well. That's annoying. Oh, sad face. Sad face. Although, yeah, I'm gonna use this as a trim. You won't really see. Well, you will. Oh no, that's gonna annoy me. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, so we're going to head home and I'm going to grab a couple of stacks of cobblestone. How did you get up here, Devon? Okay, never mind. 
I think the reason we're only just seeing them is because when they wander too far, they get teleported back, and I think they've just wandered out their teleport range, so they both come back. I can't think of any other explanation of why they've both suddenly appeared. But that's okay. Why am I dropping down these trees? I just realised we don't need them anymore. It's cobblestone we need. But I mean, the good thing about building there is that our house is only just here. What? What? We have a, a P file. Um, we have another P file. Oh my gosh. What? What? How did I not notice this? Oh my gosh. I think we have been egged. I think our house has been egged by peafowl. And when I say I think, um, yeah, okay, I really was not expecting that at all. I hadn't actually been over here in a while, because yeah, we've been working on the Swan Lake Cafe. Wow, that's a shock, that's a surprise, that was very unexpected. That's actually quite funny. I don't know who did it. I have an inkling it might have been Sari because I know that she had a plan of things to do with her peafowl eggs and I wasn't quite sure what it was but now I know. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, let's just close this. I don't want any more wandering inside my house although she's probably ate the inside of my house as well. Let's go see. Are there any down here? Are there any in the Mimiji mansion? I think we might be fine. Yes. Oh my gosh. What have you done? Mimijis. What, what has happened? Why is your food everywhere? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, that was very funny. Let's go see what else has happened. Okay, look. But wow, wow. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that happened. But we'll need to grab our cobblestone. Let's make a bit more room. Don't need these carboners blocks anymore. I do need that barrier. We don't need the carboners garage. The jack sap saplings I don't think we'll need. Um, I think we're all good there. But yeah, the cobblestone. I'll take uh, that that much of it. And we'll head back. Avoid all our p-file that we now have. And we will now have to build an exhibit for. <laughs> I quite like them all there though. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> okay, let's head back. And away we go. Ah, uh, really? <laughs> I'm just thinking. Like, I know that Mara and I caked everybody on the server, and I'm just trying to think who has the most peafowl eggs and the only th person that comes to mind is Seri so yeah <laughs> but I am sort of speechless that was very unexpected but I am looking for my chisel now this diamond chisel so we can chisel our cobblestone into the fancy cobblestone tiles or fancy cobblestone bricks rather or detailed cobblestone bricks, that's what they're called. And we can put these in the roof. Uh, yeah. I mean, if we wanted, we could dye them a, co a certain colour. Um, do we have any dyes that are suitable? I'm going to try the light blue dye. I don't know if it will work or not. Ah! Oh, does it? What do you think? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this whole roof in this these cobblestone blocks. And do you like that colour? Do you think it goes well? 
I think it does. I think that we're going to have to uh, color everything in with light blue dye. And I think my carbonous hammer is going to break shortly. I just hope I have enough of it left to get rid of this wood. Yes. Okay, so we have a plan now. We have coloured roof. We have P file that we've got to give a home to. <laughs> and we have cafe to finish. I'm really glad that I only just found that though, because yeah, I'm glad I saw it on camera. Because if I hadn't have done. I don't think we'd have got the same reaction. That was just incredible. I love it. And uh, chisel, chisel, we need this chisel. And again. But I am actually quite impressed with the, um, the speed at which this cafe is coming along. I know that some of this is very repetitive, placing blocks. I'm glad I didn't record uh, building the collapsible carbonous blocks because that took forever and it's quite odd as well because they're not exactly half blocks the slope it's sort of the blocks are split into 15 rather than 16 which I find a bit weird I hope you can understand what I mean by that that they're split into 15 not 16 but yeah that's basically what I've been doing all afternoon, this roof, and we are almost finished with it. I think we'll have enough cobblestone. That is like the phrase that I always say, I think we have enough of this block, and then we never do. And it's a bit odd looking at the, the corners here because I try to match the slopes with this slope and because they're two different gradients you can't do that with the collapsible blocks so I've just had to make do with what we've got and it doesn't look too bad I don't think you'll really notice unless you look up close and unless you're a pig named Devon I don't think you'll be climbing on this roof but there we are oh no nope almost Almost. And there we are, that's that done that. And we've got the steeper roof to do. And I'm also thinking that we could put like, not a clock of such, but some sort of mini tower, mini, I'm not sure, I think it would be look nice to have like a little a monument or something on the top. And almost there, almost there. Oh gosh. I was not looking at what I was doing. Oh, even a chimney. Because it is a cafe after all and they would be cooking food. So they need somewhere for all the, the smoke and fumes to go. And look at that. I think we had just the right amount of cobblestone. That is cool. I like it. So I need to make another barrier just to oh no, just to finish off that little bit of roof there. Actually no. No I don't need that at all. What I need is to put these wooden planks here and oh I, I I've got them here. Yeah. Perfect. That's cool. And we will just chisel this. And yay. Yes. It worked. I think I might do something here though with this little overhang. The the rental shop. Uh cuz I might give it a a different roof or something or maybe a flat roof 
um, with the commoners blocks. Uh, I don't know. But I'll sort that out next episode, I think. But yeah. Okay, I'm going to end this episode here. But look at it. We've made so much progress. I just want you to let me know what you think about the putting the blue dye on the roof, whether that would work or not. So I'd like to get your opinions on that, please. And don't forget the code is pelican43. And that will give you 200 power points. There is also, yeah, that sneaky bonus code that I know we've shown on camera. I know we've shown it now. And I'll see you all next time. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye.